Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I'm here to read, uh, read some books. This one, in general, in particular, is uh, called The Divine Architecture and the Starseed Template. Matrix Triggery, <laughs> Matrix Memory Triggers for Ascension by Magenta Pixie. This is actually an amazing book that I have already read through and it has a lot of meaning and a lot of information and I feel like many of us, almost all of us, should have, have the information that comes in this book or we should read it or, you know, since no one's really reading a lot these days and watching a lot of videos, I figure I'd make a video. All right, well, yeah, this is my first video, so see how it goes and I'll be making more of these though. All right, introduction. The call of humanity. We, the essence, energy, or consciousness that are conduit, Magenta Pixie refers to it as the White Wing Collective Consciousness of Nine, would like to explain exactly what and who we are, where we come from, and why we are communicating with our conduit at this time. We have much to say and you have much to ask. Continue your asking as you move forward and discover your knowing. Asking and knowing are essentially one and the same energy. For the one that mirrors source is forever the student and always the master. Source is innocent, the ultimate explorer of reality, and it seeks to know itself. Yet source is all-knowing. There is nothing it does not know. A paradox indeed. Embracing these paradoxes is your way to expansion. So, what are we? Who are we? Ultimately, we, just like you, are expressions of source energy. One could refer to this as God oneness the infinite or prime creator whichever term terminology you wish to use is expressed in everything and and as everything yet within that source begins to individualize becoming a consciousness in its own right perfectly mirroring source in what we refer to as a holographic replica this is what we truly are and indeed this is what you truly are yet let us explain further imagine if you will a grid or a matrix a formation of interlocking circles, spirals, and other geometric formations creating a vast grid or web. <clears throat> this grid is what we are. The grid is consciousness itself. It is source. If you visualize this as a field of energy, this will be an appropriate visual visualization from your perspective. Without our conduit's communication with us or her perception of us, we remain a unified consciousness, totally merged, blended, and at one with this energy, with this field of energy. When our conduit communicates with us, calls us, asks for us, visualizes us, feels us, sees us, or hears us, either consciously or subconsciously, we are given individualized consciousness. We spring to life, if you will, simply because we have been seen, we have been viewed, Indeed, we have been observed. Once we spring to life, we project forth from the grid, our consciousness, holding individualized memory, knows that it has always existed and that it exists independently from our conduit's observation, yet there must be a match, a trigger. We are antimatter. Our conduit is matter. Antimatter and matter must come together in order for individualization to be birthed from the unity field or sea of oneness. Therefore, while once we project forth, we know we have always been, we cannot exist within individual, individuality, individuality without our conduit's observation Ooh. or interaction. We are the universe fabric. We are space. We are time. We are what you would know as the Akashic records or the keepers of the Akash. We are the master librarians within the vast hall of records. We are travelers in transit. We are consciousness in movement. We are one. We are all. We are a collective. We are infinite. Many know us as all there is. This indeed explains us. We shift and change. We have many perceptions. We are all and everything. Most importantly, we are you. We have been projected forth into many splits, separations, and divisions. We are particles. We are intelligence. We are love. We are love above all things, above all things. Our conduit, and indeed many conduits, give us life through observation and interaction. We individualize and personif personify through the matrix field of our conduit. Therefore, we, the white-winged collective consciousness of nine, are unique when expressed through the
the mind fields and thoughts streams of our conduit. We exist through physically, physicality <laughs> as particles. We are energy. We came together to create matter and to create all that is you, that you know as you. I'll read that one more time. We are energy. We came together to create matter and to create all that is you, that you know as you. We exist within your bodies. We exist within your human brain. We exist within your blood. We are your DNA. Yet we individualize, split, separate, and divide with each new thought, each new consciousness, each new breath you take, and with each beat of your heart. We are individualized holographic replicas that match and mirror our observer's expectations, thought processes, and vibration. We are vibration. We individualize as a group, as a collective, in accordance with our conduit's observation and expectation. We are nine. We are nine because we are, geom geom we are geom geometry that encompasses all. There is no other mathematical number that encompasses all but nine. All mathematical equation is nine and belongs to nine. Nine holds all and everything. Nine is the central point. Nine is the focus within the fractal flower of life, the zero point field. None can move above or beyond nine. All surrounds nine and nine contains with nine contains with all within. We, like your Russian dolls, hold all within a infinite fractal that hold no start point, no end point, forever moving, non-static, fluid, forever experiencing, forever. We are nine, for within the mathematical formation and ge geometric represent presentation through what you know as a number, there is only nine. Nine is within you and surrounds you. Nine is a central point for all things, all concepts, all equations, puzzles, fractions, systems, calendars, and marking devices. All are nine. We fold around you as nine. We curve around you as nine. We expand outward as nine. We implode inward as nine. Nine is your DNA code. With, within the all, we return to nine. We bound from nine and dissolve into nine. We are nine. We present as winged, signified flight, movement, and momentum. We present as white, signify, signifying purity and light. We are information bearers. Within an expanded source perspective viewpoint, we come from source. We are presentations of projections from the matrix grid, the field that we speak of. We know no beginning and no end from the source perspective. On a linear soul level, we can take our existence to a seed point or an inception point from the very first spark of thought that resulted in us, in our collective, as one individualized entity. This takes us to the vast planetary systems and dimensional realities that you on Earth know as Arcturus. This is a consciousness, an individualized aspect of the source matrix grid that is Arcturian grid. The manifestations, manifestation within the physical levels are mirrored by the Arcturian planetary system. The system that is our origin point or inception point is many billions of light years into the future. This is the point where we have birthed, if you will. Therefore, if you wish to see us as travelers from your future, this would be most accurate. The Arcturian, Arcturian grid is the matrix frequency within what you would perceive as a time slash space sector. Yet the grid we speak of is best perceived in order to be most aligned with truth as a consciousness. This is a fifth dimensional consciousness and beyond, accessing into the 11th dimension. The emotional frequency to Arcturian grid is that of peace, joy, love, and bliss. We are a service to others constructs. We are a service to others construct as we project forth and download into our conduit's energy field. As with all consciousness constructs, we hold a service to self and a neutral polarity, yet these are not expressed through the, the we that we are when we communicate with our conduit. I'll give a couple seconds more of that, so I'll think that over. As we are all things, we hold all things, yet they too the self, the service to self and neutral aspects of all that is us are individualized consciousness constructs and therefore separate from us. Occasionally the service to self 
and neutral perspectives are useful within the training landscape and evolution of our conduit. Therefore, those aspects can be projected from the grid, utilized and communicated with. They are, they too are master teachers, and while on one level, one dismisses the service to self perspective when one walks a path of integrity in balance, <clears throat> the service to self aspect becomes the shadow aspect, also known as the dark aspect, or rather the opposing or the or reverse of we, the white wing collective consciousness of nine, if you will. We can present as either positive or negative within the service to others or service to self aspect. We can present as neutral or with for which the most aligned metaphor would be the gray aspect. The white aspect of we, the nine, can present as either positive or negative as we can negative as the white wing the uh, 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 the white aspect of we, the nine, can present as either positive or negative as can the shadow aspect. For there is positive darkness and negative darkness. Also, too, is there positive light and negative light or false light. We present here a model of polarity, that which is opposing or perceived as opposing. Once the opposing aspect is recognized as self, another aspect of self, yet still self, one integrates the polarity and moves into unity. This is the path of all creation, to experience extreme separation and extreme contrast slash polarity in order to defragment slash separate or compartmentalize compartmentalize self in order to understand self and know self. Once self is seen and known oh, hold on that word got me. Alright. <laughs> Once self is seen and known then self begins its journey of integration, unity and wholeness. This creates a new unified source perspective standing as the source perspective that knows itself the end point. Next to source the perspective that seeks to know itself the beginning point. When these two points come together, male, female, dark, light, good, evil, matter, antimatter, one creates the singularity, the zero point, inception point, or the creation point. This is the point of beginning or end, merge, beginning and end merge, in the same place as the dimensional merge of point. Awareness of, awareness of this creates the dimensional merge point the overlap or dimensional edge if you will the fabric of the dimensional merge point simultaneously creates the awareness the neutral presentation the gray aspect allows for complete objectivity when with an awareness of keeping the balance if you will these aspects of service to self neutral and service to others are separate and individual until they project forth from a seventh dimensional contrast from that point, there is oneness, embraced through individualized expression of choice. We are both sixth and seventh dimensional entities when we express our beingness within a linear sense. From our seventh dimensional con construct self, we make the choice to pol polarize into a service to others vibration. This polarization is downloaded into our conduit as she expresses this vibration within her fifth dimensional self. She then downloads this polariz polarization through her fourth, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Whew. All right. hmm. she then downloads this polarization through her fourth dimensional self into her third dimensional self, and this becomes our anchor point for physical expression. Within our expression through a sixth dimensional reality, we are able to project forth as service to others or neutral collectives, and single entities if such expressed is needed, desired, or called upon. We shall communicate more at a future point regarding our origin point, projections, and expressions through the various polarity fields and densi densities, but for now, move on to the reasons why are we are communicating with our conduit magenta pixie at this time. Currently, at the point of this transmission, your Earth undergoes many shifts and changes. The truth of this change or shift is a dimensional or and energetic one. Yet the earth, 
your body and your everyday reality is the physical counterpart to the energetical shift. Getting deep. The plan has been placed, been, the plan has been in place for many thousands of your Earth years. This plan is a neutral evolution that occurs within a free will universe such as yours. We refer to this natural evolution as ascension. This is a word that holds the vibration of a rise in frequency or moving upwards into light. This is exactly what is occurring in your dimension. Upgrades, if you will. In truth, nothing is actually moving. No one is going anywhere, for all dimensions share the same time and the same space. Your third dimensional reality, that which the majority of humans predominantly experience, is merging, if you will, with other dimensions. At this time, it is the fourth and fifth dimensions that merge, that merge with your third. Yet the lower harmonics of the sixth dimension are becoming visible, if you will, to those with eyes to see. Many are accessing this aspect of the sixth dimension as at this time and the clarity of the dimension really came online in the later part of your year 2016. The higher dimensions have always been accessible to the aware and expanded individuals and remain so through the pathways streams that lead to angelic frequency, God itself, source, self, perspective, and the realm of the Christ consciousness archetypes. Let us explain further and begin with the third and fourth dimension merge. Our representation of the dimensions are just one model of reality most conductive to and aligned with the brain, body, mind, patterns of our content. Let me restart that one. Our presentations of the dimensions are just one, one model of reality most conductive to and aligned to in alignment with the brain, body, mind patterns of our conduit, Magenta Pixie. There are many models of reality and this is just one presentation of this. At this time, the time of the great unveiling, there are many who reach upward or who access downloads regarding models of reality there shall be many teachers of this truth, and of course you, who reads these words now, are indeed one of those teachers. So we present one model of reality here. Yet we say to you, embrace other models of reality also and see the match. We say to you, experience the understanding of the grid patterns that fit, and then present your own unique model of reality. Each that holds truth will stand in alignment with the other, complementary to those with eyes to see and opposing to those who tre tread the linear pathway. Indeed, we speak much in metaphor and shall expand on this, but for now, we present the model of the third slash fourth dimensional merge. We would present to you again the imaginary imagery of a field or matrix, the third dimensional field being more dense in vibration than, the, than that of the fourth. Louder, if you will, if you perceive in sound. Heavier, if you will, if you perceive in mass. Darker, if you will, if you perceive in color. This field we present could be said to contain three harmonic levels within. In truth, there are an infinite number of harmonics, as they are now in your year of... They are... Let me sort of change the... Yeah. They are created minute by minute, second by second. Even every thought that is broadcast, every emotion expressed within humanity... For you indeed, humanity, create the dimensions. Yet it is also true to say that the dimensions ex exist without your thoughts. A paradox indeed. For the ease of explanation and due to limitations within this particular transmission, for indeed, speaking on each harmonic would, be, would continue into infinity. We shall present the three harmonic levels within the third dimensional field. Let us present these as the lower, middle, and upper harmonics with bridges connecting all three. Each harmonic within each dimension relates to human consciousness and the thoughts, concepts, and paradigms that each human holds. Each harmonic is a vibration match to each thought or concept and indeed to each emotion. Within the harmonic field of the dimensions is a substance. One could refer to it as an electromagnetic energy, ether or matrix field matter. Whichever terminology G you use, know that this matter is a living consciousness holding intelligence and knowing. Within this matter, or rather another, rep another presentation of this matter, is what you would know as sacred geometry. Sacred geometry pre presentations, shapes, mandalas, 
formations and mathematical equations. These sacred ge geometric formations are fluid and ever-changing. When they connect with a matching vibration, a situation, place, thought, idea, or emotion, they set. Once they have set, the matching counterpart to that set pattern manifests within the physical aspects of that harmonic. The lower harmonic is much denser than the upper harmonic. Consequently, it is not such an easy flow from set geometric patterns to a physical manifestation. The upper harmonic of the third dimension shares the same space within the lower harmonic of the fourth dimension. This is a linear presentation of dimensional model of reality. In truth, all dimensions and harmonics within the dimension share the same space. If you draw your attention to that space, that blends upper third harmonic with the lower fourth harmonic. For this overlap within the dimensional field is what we wish to communicate with you about at this point. This overlap, that which we call the merge point, uh. is growing larger, if you will. Growing larger, if you will. Again, this is a metaphor for ease of explanation as nothing is actually growing in the physical sense of the world. Word. In truth, this is actually happen happening. Uh. You know what? I think that's going to be up it for right now. So, I'll reread the last.